Hello, this video will show a simple way to calculate number of days between two purchases, so two rows in a data set with Oracle Analytics. So here is a sample data set with several order lines with different customers purchasing different products and placing different orders at different points in time. So in this data set, same customer may have different orders placed with different order dates and ship date and so on. So we can see here all the columns that we have in this data set. Notice in particular here, customer ID, which is a column. Let us quickly visualize this data. If I build a table with customer ID and customer name and then order number and order date, I can see that for any single customer, I may have multiple orders and order line IDs at different dates. Now, if I swap to a single customer, say customer ID 117 to pick one, I can see all the orders for that single customer. And here I can see the different dates that they were placed at and I can see the timeline at the bottom indicating the gap between any two orders. So we want Oracle Analytics to have a metric that would calculate the number of days between any of these two consecutive orders. And we want to be able to aggregate this and, and visualize it. But the challenge is that the calculation needs to consume data that is sitting in two distinct records. And not only that, these two records need to be properly sorted so they are sitting consecutive in a timeline, timeline axis. So one possible way to achieve this in Oracle Analytics is to create a data flow. So let me create a data flow and let's select our sales data, which we were looking at a minute ago, which has a single record per purchase. And let's begin by creating a column that will simply sequence the different purchase dates by customer. So rank order date by customer ID. So exactly this generates for each customer a sequence number, one, two, three, four, five, six, properly ordering every line order that this customer placed over time. So now let's bring another data set into this data flow. But we are not going to create a new data set. We are going to reuse the exact same sales data and just bring it a second time in the data flow. And let's add the exact same sequence column, rank of order date by customer ID, except that in this case, we are going to offset it, stagger it by one, so that the same rank actually indicates the previous purchase. And now let's join the two versions of the da same data set. So in our join, we're going to make sure that customer ID is equal for both data sets, but we're also going to enforce that the rank of the current purchase equals the rank of the previous purchase. So this is now creating a data set with two sets of columns, original columns, and a copy of these original columns. Only for each record, the second set of columns is offset by one rank in the date. So essentially for any given order, it shows the original order information, current one, and next to it, the information about the previous order. So let's do one more thing. Let's make sure we keep all the rows in the first data set simply because some orders do not have a previous order. So we still want to have all of these. So we're almost done. What we're gonna do here is a little bit of cleanup. Remember we have two sets of column where you can see the underscore one columns here. So most of these columns we don't need for our analysis, only need these uh, order dates. So I'm just removing what we don't need. I'm going to rename columns so that we understand what we're talking about. So let, this is the order date from the previous date, the previous, uh, the second data set. And I'm going to create another calculation, which is the difference between order date and the previous order date. And that's the number of days that sit in between two orders consecutive orders for a single given customer. Let me save this data. I just need to give this data set a new name. So let me call it with days calc. Oh, I need to make sure that my number of days gets an aggregation rule of average and we can run the data flow. So my data set is about 10,000 rows. So it's pretty quick actually. And this data flow, when I hit run, generates a new data set that has the calculation of number of days between two consecutive orders like we were wanted earlier on. So let's check it out. Let me open the data set. We can see here that it's the same one, but at the bottom, there's days since last purchase as a metric. So let me filter for the same customer that we were looking at earlier on. Let me quickly build a table like the one we had before. So these are the 10 orders for customer 117. And let me sort them by order date. Now. I can bring my previous order date and I can see that for the second order, previous order date is exactly the same as the one before. Same for the third one, previous order date is the one from the first and so on. So this is by customer that sequencing and that information is correct. Now, if I bring the calculation next to it, it will indicate me the number of days that separate each order to the one that came just before. So you can see here 92, 357, and I can aggregate this 
for the entire customer as an average. I can also use it using the customer ID only without the order and I can see an average. If I add another customer number here, like 1018, I will see the average number of days between order for that customer. And if I unfilter this, I will see it for every customer. Some customers do not have any value because they may only have one order. But for, order, for customers who have multiple, I can see the value. And now I can even aggregate this by other dimensions. What if I wanted to see the average order number by customer segment? So if I represent this as a bar chart, now I can see that home office is the segment where customers buy the less frequently. And I can represent this information in aggregated in any ways. So this is how you can easily calculate metrics that invoke data from two distinct records or consecutive records in a data set. Thanks for watching.